Okay, some of you might be wondering what the new chroma key and luma key mixing filters are all about in the newest release of Vixen. Well, I was using it tonight and I finally decided that it was time to do a little video here. So, take an image here. I've got my um, lip sync face here on a mega tree. So let me just play this here real quick. This is just lip sync images, uh, which you could do using uh, Jeff's video on lip sync. And, and get the faces here. So I'm just going to play this real quick so you can see what it looks like. You see that tree there, that snowman um, showed up on the tree. I'm going to slow this down so it lasts a little longer. So the snowman's on the tree, and you'll notice in that image he's got a black background. Um, well, if you want to take that black background on there and fill it in, uh, so that you can actually have a background on it. You could use just a, a standard set level effect or any other effect for that matter and fill in that black background. So in order to do that, you're going to need two layers. You're going to need your effect is going to be on the, that, that forms your foreground. So in this case, the images with the snowman is going to be on the lower layer and on the higher layer is going to be what you're going to fill that background in with. So I've got over here in my in my layer configuration. In fact, let me just make this a little bit bigger so that we can see my layer stack. I've got I've got a bunch of layers in here, but what you'll notice is one of these is set to Luma key, and then the one below it happens to be mask and fill. So the fact that it's mask and fill, it could be anything. It's just on the layer that's below the the luma key layer so if you notice that my effect on lip sync here um is set to the mask and fill layer when you right click and look at the layer it's on the mask and fill layer and then i'm going to take this other effect here and this happens to be just a green set level effect your standard set level effect you'll see it up here and this one when you look at the layer it is on the luma key layer which is the layer right above the masking fill so in the Luma key here, there's a little configuration. So if you click that configuration, you've got some brightness limits here. So what this is doing is that you are specifying a range of brightness to work this key. So I'm going to set my lower to zero. So the darkest stuff in the picture is where it starts. And in this case, I just set it to two. So a very, very little section. So everything that is has a brightness between zero and two is going to be filled in with the effect on this luma key layer so i'll click ok and i'm going to bring this uh it looks like i already did i put it back on the right thing so now if i go and play this section of my sequence here you'll see you'll see that the um, um snowman and the and the other set level are working together so I will uh, press these both together. I'll turn on that effect preview, and it'll kind of loop through there, and you'll see how that black background of the snowman uh, is filled in with the green of that other layer. Now we can do other fancy things too. So I'm going to take that snowman there and just select that real quick. And let me take my layers, figure out where I'm at here, and make this a little smaller again. I don't need to see that right now. And I'm going to take the scale on this guy and make it a smaller snowman here so that uh, he's got more border around him. You can't see his face quite so well, but for the sake of this demonstration, that's fine. And I'm going to take this uh, effect and move this out of the way. And then let's take another effect. Maybe we want to make it, uh, maybe we want to make it snow around that snowman. So let's take this. I got vertical. Well, that's snowstorm. I don't like snowstorm. Let's try and use snowflakes. There we go. We got some nice fallen snowflakes there. So say we want it to snow around that snowman, and we'll take this guy, and we're going to put it on the layer of that luma key. And when I select these both together, you'll see that it is snowing all around that snowman. So that's how you would use the luma, you, the luma key layer. Now what if you wanted to do just the opposite? If you wanted to take and fill in, say, the white of the snowman instead of the black background, we could do that with Luma Key as well. So if I were to take the brightness and move that upper, let's say all the way to the top, and I'll bring that 
lower somewhere in the 95 range let's see how well that works I'm gonna click OK and now you're gonna see that the snowflakes are falling inside the white area of the snowman everything that was brighter than that that 95 96 percent whatever we said is now getting cut up and filled in with the snowflakes there so it's a little hard to see the because of the way I've got my snowflake set up but let me go back to the snowflake let's uh, let's make my flake count a little higher oh we got lots more snowflakes now we'll go back and select both of these effect and you can see how it's snowing inside the snowman in that bright area if we wanted to expand that range a little more we can do that and now you see a little more of his outline went away because those darker areas got filled in that's another way to do that so you could use the luma key to do that sort of effect in either direction 